Organic India, offering the finest in teas, psyllium, and herbal supplements. Mother Earth suffers under the weight of mankind. Those with eyes to see know that time is short. A new path can and must be found. A natural and sustainable way of life that promotes the well-being of all Earth's creatures and of Mother Nature. This is the vision and the mission of Organic India. In pursuit of faster growth and greater profits, farming lands worldwide have been poisoned with chemicals. This corporate short-sightedness has had a disastrous effect on human health and the world's food supply. In 1997, on a small farm in northern India, a group of inspired individuals set out to reverse this horrific trend. Today, Organic India's good work is hailed around the world as a powerful response to an insidious problem. Their philosophy is simple. Creation is one, the earth is one, and we are one. The world is seriously at risk. And Organic India evolved as a solution to what we saw as a devastation in India in regards to agriculture. The world's food supply at the moment is headed towards crisis. We're poisoning the planet, we're poisoning ourselves. We are all a part of each other, we're one organism. If I pour pesticides into the soil here, it has an impact on the whole earth. And what this whole company is about is about consciousness, is about creating a business modality which is in service to all, to the environment, to the farmer, to the end consumers. Creating a business modality where no one is being abused or used and everybody is being benefited. This company is radically different. You can run an economically sustainable and viable business with spiritual principles of integrity, honesty and doing the right thing by everyone at every level. The economic pressures on farmers worldwide are the same. Corporations have convinced the world that pesticides and chemicals are an absolute necessity despite being poisons that wound the environment, sicken our children, and threaten our future. This was the desperate state of the farmers of Azamgarh, India in 1997, when the founders of Organic India offered them a new path. When we came first time to Azamgarh, it was an area which was in deep desperation. The big majority of farmers were unable to cultivate their field anymore. We saw that the West was just dumping chemicals in like India. Farmers were committing suicide, the soil was getting depleted. Their level of trust in any company or corporation is truly limited. They've been traumatized time and time again. We just felt we have to find a solution to this. Organic India undertook the epic challenge of teaching local Indian farmers how to produce sustainable agriculture that is both healthy and profitable. Predictably, farmers were distrustful of the newcomers. But farmer Kailash Singh took a leap of faith that would eventually turn a single three-acre farm into a certified organic community of more than 1,000 farmers and 10,000 acres. And when you see this meeting between me and Kailash, is a meeting in absolute gratefulness and love for who they are and what they represent. What is prevailing here in Organic India is altogether different. The mission to help the farmers, it is not simply on the paper, it is actually there, it is existing. To hear the farmers on the podium speaking in front of 2,000 people and talking about how their lives have changed and how joyous they feel and how connected they feel with everyone in the company, it's unmeasurable what a joy and a thrill that is. The world can change and Organic India is showing it how and the engine behind it all is those farmers. So it's not only that they have sustainable income, not only the environment is healthy and striving and their livestock is doing better, not only their own health improved 
so significantly, but they have the dignity of being farmers again. How beautiful, how natural, how simple. We feel called to start an organic revolution in India. That's what we feel called to do, and we have. We humans arise from the earth. The components of our bodies are of the earth. It stands to reason that our nutrition, our fuel, our food should also arise from the earth, untainted by pesticides or other man-made chemicals in the most naturally efficient way possible. Imagine food that nourishes, enlivens, and even heals, because organic is life. It's a very simple premise for the consumer to understand. What would you rather eat? Food products with chemicals or food products without chemicals? It has been an awakening for me, a very deep awakening to understand the real meaning of organic. This is something so deep about connecting back to the earth. Organic all over the world is really coming into its own at this time, but it takes and it depends upon the kind of work that Organic India is doing here in India. The organic story is fundamental to the Earth's health and well-being. To be organically certified, all food must be grown, harvested, processed, stored, and shipped in accordance with a variety of international organic standards. Being one of the only vertically integrated organic food companies means that Organic India is responsible for certification from the field to the store. At their state-of-the-art facility in Lucknow, the staff process, store, and ship product to the entire world. Organic India's line of teas, herbal supplements, and Ayurvedic formulations embody the promise and the wisdom of the organic philosophy. At the heart of all this good work is Tulsi, also known as Holy Basil. A medicinal wild plant harvested for thousands of years Organic India is the first company to grow Tulsi commercially and organically. They're the number one Tulsi tea in the market. Uh, they have great scientific information behind it and uh, they support the industry. When you drink a cup of Tulsi tea, it soothes you, it relaxes you, the taste is just wonderful. What Tulsi does is it has this ability to help the body to adapt, whether it's physical, emotional, um, psychological. Tulsi is a balancer of life, life process completely. So we found that Tulsi is the strongest anti-stress agent known to human beings and scientists. It not only tastes great, it makes you feel great, it's very cleansing, it gives you energy. Tulsi tea is going to become the number one health drink in the next uh, couple of years. To hear the stories from the farmers, it has um, helped and cure them of various different um, health problems. It's, it's really a wonderful story. Organic India is also a world leader in the production of organic psyllium, a bulk forming natural dietary fiber that promotes easy, healthy elimination without the harsh stimulants found in most colon care products. Psyllium has been around for a long, long time. Conventional brands like Metamucil are household words. In the natural food industry, organic psyllium was never available. This is the first time that that is being introduced in the United States. When you look at a crop like psyllium that is so heavily sprayed with pesticides, this is really big news. What is happening on these small farms in India is a template for what may be our best last chance to save Earth's food supply, and to change our fate as well, through brotherhood and love. Together we can change the world, but only if we remember the future. Organic India is a model for the whole world. Unless we all experience that we all are of the same consciousness, we're going to treat each other as if you don't matter. We really feel that um, this vision and this mission is much larger than any of us. This is a company which I believe offers people choices that can change the world. In every product of Organic India you are carrying that resonance, that love and that incredible experience that has happened in this place. It truly is a revolution. It is about the vision which is alive in each one's heart. To participate in something which is bigger than yourself.
Organic India is founded upon the idea of selfless service and has faith that everyone, the world over, will join them in their quest. We are all of us, one human being, one human family. Take time to consider your place in that family and never, ever underestimate your ability to contribute to the greater good. We're promoting organic agriculture. We're promoting an organic revolution in India. And we're not going to stop. <laughs>